So for me, one of the key things is this, this phase of training, getting the horse set up and ensuring that the rider is using their body correctly. And by doing that, I mean using the inside leg, outside rein, that they're sitting on the horse, they've got a soft seat, um, good core, abdominals, and not collapsing forward. And then especially vital for the turn, that they're not leaning in. Um, and you can see with the jacket, that's slightly leaning to the right. And then on the takeoff, we don't want the riders to be putting their core too much onto the mane. We want them to have a bit of distance. I like to think of those steering wheel things that block, lock the wheels and a pole between your chest and the neck. So you allow the horse's wither to come up to the chest. And then on the landing, we're looking for the rider to maintain her balance and keep her body off the horse and not land heavy and that she doesn't collapse on landing and keeps the lower leg forward and the leg on to support the horse. So we talked about the side view quite a lot, but we mustn't neglect the rear view. And I think a lot of people do neglect the rear view. And as a coach, I always stand behind riders and look at them. And with our biomechanics session, that's crucial. So we're looking um, at how the rider approaches the fence. Is the horse straight? But more importantly, is the seat straight? Do the hips slip one way? Does the one leg draw up versus the other? Do the shoulders drop to the side? Um, of, of when they're taking off, how do they land? So looking at Becky, we're looking at her seat now, elbows, and where the horse landed in relation to the takeoff. 